What if I told you that instead of going to school, getting good grades, going to college, getting a student loan, being in debt for most of your 20s and 30s, and it gets worse. Being imprisoned in a 9 to 5 job for 40 years while still paying your student loans, retiring at 65 with little to no money and so many health problems, and doing all of that just so people can say that you're successful? Education at this point is a racket. I mean, most people will never recoup the cost of a college degree. I mean, what if I told you that there are better ways to be successful? Because let's be honest, what I've just told you does not sound anything like success. But what if I told you that instead of going through all that, you can make other people go through it for your own benefit, while you profit off their ignorance and financial struggle. And the business is actually very simple. All you have to do is create some kind of educational program that takes four years or more to complete, market your program to a group of young adults and convince them that your program will guarantee a high paying job by the time they graduate. Charge absurd costs for your program and degrees, Make them get loans to sign up for your programs even if they don't have the money. Repeat this process on a large scale and then sit back on your comfortable chair, grab a fat cigar and watch the money roll in. Welcome to the legal scam of education. Formal education has long been viewed as a valuable investment for individuals seeking to further their knowledge, skills and career prospects. In the past, a college degree was often seen as a ticket to a good job and a successful career and many people were willing to invest significant time and money in order to obtain a degree. Since then, things have changed a bit. The education system hasn't aged well, and the value of a degree is no different, which led to the questioning of the education system in recent years, as the cost of tuition and fees has risen dramatically, and many graduates struggle to find good jobs upon graduation. Some experts argue that the traditional four-year college is no longer as valuable as it once was. And this is not something that only few people think or guess. It's actually showcased every year by the NCES. This is the National Center for Educational Statistics in their back to school stats. Take this one for example. For post-secondary education, enrollment in fall of 2020 was about 10% lower than fall of 2010. That's over 2 million students who have stopped going. We've reached the peak of the education system years ago, and now we're entering the dark ages. Now you might wonder, why is this? Why is the education system losing its value and failing not only young adults but society as a whole? The answer is very simple. One word. Money. You know what they say, money is the root of all evil. In this case, education was never meant to make money or be run as a business. Instead, the sole purpose of education is to enable people like you and me to be contributing and productive citizens. But if education can be a service, money can be made, and that that drew the attention of many people whose sole purpose was to turn education into a money-making machine and us into their slaves. Because if education is free, or at least affordable, we wouldn't be enslaved by debt, and the vast majority of any nation can be educated. But as the cost of higher education continues to rise, we will be forced to take on huge amounts of debt in order to afford it. And this debt can have serious impacts on our future, as we may be unable to pursue certain career paths or may be burdened with debt for decades after graduation. And it does not end here. The competition among colleges and universities to attract students is another aspect of the dark side of the business of education. Institutions are under pressure to enroll as many students as possible in order to generate revenue. And this often leads to unethical practices such as misleading marketing and recruitment tactics. They may also engage in price discrimination, charging higher tuition to students who are willing to pay more or who are more likely to succeed academically. And if you're wondering how can anyone fall for that, don't blame them. Because like any other business, universities now have marketing teams, plans, and budgets. And they start marketing right at the end of high school where you have no idea what you want to do in life. They spend large amounts of money on advertising and branding in order to attract students and also donors. This can create a false impression of the quality of the institution and lead to students enrolling in schools that are not the best fit for their needs, or that may not provide the education and support they were promised. I don't know about you, but from now on if I see an advertisement for a bachelor's program on Facebook or YouTube, I'm 100% not applying or even considering going to that school, unless it's free of course, but I highly doubt that. But let's say you're born into wealth and your mommy and daddy will pay for all of your educational expenses, or maybe someone else in your family will happily pay for your schooling. Does that make the degree worth it? Well, I don't want to keep letting you down, but here's the truth. Besides the fact that the employment market is changing every day while the educational programs cannot keep up with that change, degrees may no longer be necessary in the employment market. Because if you think enough about a degree, it's just a piece of paper 
which indicates you have certain skills and know how to perform certain tasks. But with the increasing availability of alternate forms of education and training, like the rise of online learning platforms, it is now possible to gain valuable skills and knowledge without ever setting foot on a college campus or getting a degree. But what's more concerning to the people who still believe in the traditional education systems and degrees is that employers themselves are now recognizing the value of these alternative forms of education and are willing to hire candidates with non-traditional backgrounds. Take a look at the big tech companies like Google, Facebook, and Microsoft. They know that a degree is not all there is anymore, and they're more interested in paying you for your skill set. And one of the best ways to build and enrich your skill set in any domain is by internships and apprenticeships, which will help you gain practical experience without the need for a degree. And there are also programs that provide on-the-job training and can lead to full-time employment, making them a viable alternative to a traditional higher education. And those skills, called hard skills, are not the only thing or even the first on the list employers are actually looking for. Instead, employers are increasingly looking for candidates who have strong communication and teamwork skills, as well as the ability to problem solve and adapt to change. These skills, which are referred to as soft skills, can often be developed outside of a traditional classroom setting, making a degree even more unnecessary for success in the job market. So unless you really want to be a doctor or a lawyer, there's little to no benefit of getting a degree. But if those reasons won't cut the chase for you, just compare the cost with the outcome. With the cost of higher education continuing to rise, it is becoming increasingly difficult to justify the cost of a degree in terms of potential future earnings. But you know what's scary about all this? No, it's not being unemployed because what you've received in those four years is no longer needed by the employers, and it's also not the rising cost of higher education. It's actually worse. It's the unpaid loans. It's the burden of paying for something that promised you to get a paid job to pay back the loan. To make it simple, imagine it's the 90s. You just finished high school and you're ready to tackle the world. So you get a loan out for $100,000 to sign up for a program. Let's call it Building Flip Phones 101. By the time you graduate, you find out that people are already using a new generation of phones built on iOS and Android. So of course, no one is asking for flip phone engineers anymore. And here's the kicker. You'll still be paying for that $100,000 until you're late into your 30s and 40s, and sometimes even older. Isn't that just horrible? And with that loan, it can be difficult for you to afford other necessities such as housing and healthcare, and can even prevent you from saving for the future. Not only that, it can also have a negative impact on your mental health. Because of the stress of worrying about how to pay off loans and the fear of defaulting can be overwhelming and can contribute to anxiety and depression. So let's be optimistic a little. Let's say you somehow managed to land a job as a flip phone engineer. Well, now you'll be pressured to stay at that job forever simply because it will be the highest paying job with your degree, even if building flip phones is no longer your true passion. This can lead to job dissatisfaction and potentially even a lack of job security, as you may feel stuck in a career you do not enjoy and that may also disappear forever. By no means, I'm not trying to make things scarier, it's just the truth. And if you don't believe this narrative I'm presenting to you, just go on Reddit and see how many people regretted the choice of getting a student loan. There are so many stories on Reddit, and what I'm trying to do is keep your story out of there. And talking about stories, in every story, there is a turning point. Something that the main character does to change the course of action. And I hope that the information in this video can be that turning point for you. And by the way, I'm not saying that all education is bad education. What I'm trying to say is that to be successful, there are other options way better than an outdated education system. Like subscribing to our channel, where we'll cover scams, how businesses get rich, and other ways you're being manipulated so you can navigate the world a little safer. And be careful out there. Don't fall prey to the marketing tactics of colleges and universities.